<clears throat> hey YouTube, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. This is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel. What is up? My name is Amy. If you are returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to release for you guys from Friday, October 11th. With that, let's get started. I pulled the Angel of Cards for today. There's definitely a long message, so I'm just going to get into this, but it's a beautiful message. So, Angel Deck. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what's here, and then as I go through the reading, I will understand why these cards are coming up. I have a feeling from the cards laid out in front of me what these mean, but I want to get validation, clarification. So I'm actually giving you guys the right message for you. So the first one says unlikely. Within the next few weeks, lots of opportunities. We have yes. We have trust. We have big happy changes. Perfect timing remain positive all right so keep that in mind as we go through this reading so there is an energy shift going on today there is some type of um i don't know if it's you go to bed and you wake up in the morning and it's like everything just seems clear everything seems to just make sense today that's the type of energy I'm picking up. It's like, even though you may feel with this Knight of Wands that you're at your weakest moment, maybe this is rock bottom for some of you, for who I'm referring to. Maybe you have finally hit rock bottom in a marriage, you hit rock bottom at a job, you hit rock bottom at a relationship, and you're kind of like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not feeling unworthy. I'm not feeling unloved. I'm not feeling like I'm a nobody. I have given you everything I can possibly give you. And now here I am back down on my knees because of something that is happening between us. Because you can't just blame it on the other person, guys. Sometimes you have to take the or ownership for your lessons in this relationship. But I do feel like you're in this place where it's like you know that you need to move away from someone or let go of someone. But it's like, how do I move away from this person? How do I let this person go? I've invested so much time. I've invested so much energy. How do I just walk away? That's what I'm hearing right now. I, I feel like even though you feel weak, you need to understand that there is something that you're not seeing. There is something that you need to hold on. And by that, I don't mean hold on to this person. I mean like hold on to yourself right now. If you can't rely on anyone else in your atmosphere or your surroundings, you guys need to really hold on to yourselves today, all right? Because with everything going on, whoever is leaving your life, whoever has left your life, they have left your life because they are no longer needed. Spirit came in and said, you know what? It's time. We're removing this person because someone better is coming. Page of Wands. Is this person coming now? Unlikely. Within the next few weeks, possibly. But new love is coming. I feel like you're in this place where it's going into the whole, I'm going to do some meditation. I'm going to really ground myself right now. I'm going to really focus on myself. I'm going to really take care of myself. Maybe you've been in this energy of taking care of everyone else and you got to this point where it's like, I am so exhausted mentally, emotionally. I need to take care of me. And I feel like once you shift something, I don't know if it's shifting some thoughts or shifting this person, but it's like once you clear away what you've been stuck and tied to, opportunities come around. A lot of opportunities. This whole reading is opportunities. All right. You need to call and tell the universe what you want so the universe can deliver that to you. It's about taking chances, nine of wands. It's about you finally putting down what you need to put down and going after what you are being called to do. Whether that's starting your own tarot business, whether that's going back to school, whether that's going back to work, doing a home-based business, whatever your passion is, you need to go after it. 
you have been putting your own life on hold for far too long. It's time you do something for you today. All right. The time is now. This situation is divinely guided. You are being pushed. Like I said yesterday, spirit is coming through and saying, <coughs> we've seen you struggle. We've seen you hit rock bottom. Now we're going to move you into something better because we have the page of pentacles and we also have the queen of pentacles. So is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be worth it? Yes. But you've got to trust that spirit has a plan for you. You've got to trust that the universe knows what is best for you right now. Because even though you don't know what you need, spirit does. And spirit's bringing it to you. And you know what it is? Big happy changes. Abundance. Blessings. Opportunities. Not a pentacles. This is acceptance. Acceptance where you are, not where you've been. This is enjoyment. This is everything you need right now is here. But you got to manifest that in. You've got to believe that you're worthy of these new opportunities. There are so many reasons to celebrate right now. You have so much abundance coming in. You have so much happiness. I feel like such a peaceful feeling right now. Like I can literally go out on the dance floor. Like it's just such a beautiful reading. And I'm so glad to be doing this because so many of you need this positivity right now. You are on the right track. You know, you, this is perfect timing. Everything that's unfolding, whether you understand it now or not, guys, it is perfect timing. It is all happening for a reason. You have to remain positive. As hard as it is to do that, you need to do that for you. The star is your last card. So this is hope. This is abundance. This is walking away from any situation that does not bring you emotional fulfillment. This is walking away from any situation that does not bring you what you need in your life right now. Not five years from now. Not five years from the past. What do you need right now? When you least expect it, beautiful things happen. Your wishes are coming true. Your wishes have been granted. Whatever that's for. It is such a beautiful reading. And that's why it's only seven minutes long because it was so easy to get out. Spirit's like, you know what? You just need to say this, this, and this, and let's go. So I love those readings. But we do have a couple Oracle cards, so I want to get into those. So the first one says imagine. Turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imagery, and feelings, creative illusions. The Oracle message. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You are gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what, what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real, real, real right now then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the other world as if by magic. So the second card says why. There is great power in understanding your motives right now. The oracle asked you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intentions will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings to life and holds the power or potential for growth. You also have thinker. The... Ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Beautiful. And we had this too, milk and honey. 
You've entered a sweet time in your life enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more lingu than ambitious. When all of your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe, these times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and supplicable. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You're given the gift of nourishment in every way. Flippin' beautiful, guys. Just flippin' beautiful. Makes so much sense. You guys are on the right track. You're on the right path. Even if you don't know it, stay as true to you are. Stay true to your needs. Just embrace this journey right now. Keep moving forward. Let go and walk away from the need to let go and enjoy these new things. All right, so I'm sending you guys all love and light, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Take care.